Welcome to Blatt House Bio. We're embarking on a captivating journey through the fascinating history of biopharmaceuticals. Imagine a time when a simple scratch could be fatal, and medicine was often as perilous as the illnesses it aimed to cure, from the chaotic early days of unregulated pharmaceuticals to the stringent safety standards of modern good manufacturing practice GMP. We'll explore the trials and triumphs that have shaped the industry. Join us as we uncover the dramatic events and revolutionary breakthroughs that have ensured the safety and efficacy of the medicines we rely on today. Imagine a world before antibiotics, where a simple scratch could turn fatal. This was the reality until the early 20th century, a time when medicine was often as harmful as the disease itself. Pharmaceuticals were a wild west, a realm where snake oil salesmen peddled their wares with impunity. Consumers were at the mercy of unscrupulous manufacturers, who often cut corners to maximize profits, the consequences were devastating. The turning point came in 1901, a year that would forever change the course of pharmaceutical history. A vaccine intended to protect children from diphtheria was contaminated with tetanus, 13 innocent lives were lost. This tragic event was a stark reminder of the deadly consequences of unchecked pharmaceutical production. It was a wake-up call that reverberated through the medical community. The public demanded action, and policymakers began to realize the urgent need for regulation. The early 20th century saw the first steps towards regulating the pharmaceutical industry. The Biologics Control Act of 1902 was a landmark piece of legislation, establishing a framework for overseeing the production of biological products. However, it was just the beginning. In 1906, Upton Sinclair's novel, The Jungle, exposed the appalling conditions in the meatpacking industry. While the book was fiction, it ignited a firestorm of public outrage over food safety. In response, the Pure Food and Drug Act was passed, establishing the Bureau of Chemistry, the precursor to the FDA. Despite these early efforts, the pharmaceutical industry remained a perilous landscape. A 1933 exhibition, aptly named the American Chamber of Horrors, showcased a chilling array of dangerous and ineffective products. From contaminated cosmetics to deadly weight loss drugs, the exhibit laid bare the industry's dark side. The public was outraged, but it would take another tragedy to spark real change. In 1937, the pharmaceutical company S.E. Massengill introduced a new form of sulfanilamide, a popular antibiotic, using a solvent called diethylene glycol. Unknown to the company, this substance was deadly. Over 100 people, many of them children, died after consuming the contaminated elixir. This catastrophe was a watershed moment. It forced the government to take decisive action. The Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act of 1938 was enacted, requiring drug manufacturers to prove safety and efficacy before marketing their products. The fight for safer medicines was far from over. The 1950s brought another heart-wrenching chapter in the industry's history. Dalitamai, a sedative prescribed to pregnant women, was later found to cause severe birth defects. This tragedy underscored the importance of rigorous drug testing and the need for comprehensive oversight. In response to these and other disasters, good manufacturing practices GMP emerged as a cornerstone of pharmaceutical regulation. Implemented in the United States in 1963, GMP established a detailed set of guidelines for producing safe and effective medicines. GMP covered everything from facility design and equipment maintenance to employee training and quality control. It was a comprehensive approach that aimed to prevent mistakes and ensure product consistency. The World Health Organization, who recognized the importance of GMP and adopted the American model as the basis for its own guidelines in 1969. Today, GMP is a globally recognized standard with variations tailored to specific countries and regions. For instance, the European Union enforces harmonized GMPs across member states, focusing on personnel training, premises and equipment maintenance, and data integrity. The US FDA regulations, outlined in the Code of Federal Regulations CFR Title 21, Parts 210 and 211, emphasize documentation and validation. The pharmaceutical industry has undergone a dramatic transformation since the early days of GMP. Advances in technology, such as automation and data analytics, have enhanced manufacturing processes. However, new challenges have also emerged, including the rise of counterfeit drugs, supply chain vulnerabilities, 
and the increasing complexity of drug development. Concepts like quality, iDesign QBD, and risk-based manufacturing are being incorporated to improve product quality and efficiency. As the pharmaceutical industry moves forward, GMP will remain a critical component of ensuring patient safety. With the growing emphasis on personalized medicine and advanced therapies, the complexity of drug manufacturing is increasing. This will require ongoing refinement of GMP standards to meet the challenges of the future. Emerging technologies like 3D printing and continuous manufacturing are posed to revolutionize the industry, necessitating updated guidelines to address potential issues like contamination control and process validation. The journey from the dark ages of pharmaceuticals to the highly regulated industry of today is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of improving human health. While challenges persist, the foundation laid by GMP provides a strong framework for building a safer and more effective pharmaceutical future, from the early tragedies that spurred initial regulations to the sophisticated practices of today. GMP continues to evolve, ensuring that the medications we rely on are safe, effective, and of the highest quality. If you found this video informative and engaging, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues and friends. For more insightful content on biopharmaceuticals and the latest industry trends, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Your support helps us bring you the best content. Let us know in the comments what topic you'd like us to cover next. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.